It sounds like a plot pulled right from a movie. A long lost relative dies with no will and no heirs, leaving behind millions of dollars. But it turns out that's exactly what happened right here in Chicago, and the search is over for who gets the money. Our Maribel Gonzalez live in Gage Park for us tonight. Maribel? Yeah, that's very straight out of a movie. It took years to track down Joseph Stankak's relatives, many of whom we now know live abroad, but none of them, and certainly none of his neighbors here in Gage Park, knew that the 87-year-old man had millions stashed away. A local mystery now solved. We know very little. We know that he passed away just before Christmas in 2016. We know that he had over $11 million. That's Illinois State Treasurer Michael Frerichs. His office returned the millions to the family of Joseph Stankak, a Gage Park resident who died without leaving a will. It is the largest unclaimed property return in Illinois history and national history. The family was not easy to find. Didn't have anyone mentioned in a will. Stankak didn't have any kids of his own. Neither did six of his now deceased siblings. So the ancestry research had to go back to his parents and grandparents on a family tree before finding the heirs. We're talking first cousins, and I believe in some cases second cousins. Attorney Kenneth so, Piercy, who represents Stankak's estate, worked with the research company to track down family and found 119 heirs. The majority live in Poland and nearby Slovakia. They also found a few in the United States, including New York, New Jersey, Minnesota, and seven right here in the Chicago area. We had to find the baptismal records, birth certificates, death certificates, marriage records, every everything that we can find it to basically trace. The family had no idea, and I think this will be life-changing for many of us. And while that part is solved, less is known about how Stan Kack made his fortune. And me more. His neighbors here in this working class neighborhood of Gage Park told us in Spanish he was a quiet and frugal man, oftentimes doing his own home repairs. And this house is where they say he lived alone and died the same way. Now, even though this is the largest sum of unclaimed property, it certainly is not the only one. In fact, the state treasurer tells us that one in four people in the state of Illinois have money that's entitled to them that they don't even know about. To find out if you have any lost money, you can head to our website at cbschicago.com. Reporting in Gage Park, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS2 News.